I just picked up a new wireless spy cam today by CamDuck. Just came in the mail, Amazon. Let's, uh, let's unbox it and see what's inside. Starts off with instruction manual. I'd definitely read this if I were you. Uh, user's manual. Tells you how to sync it, which, you know what, we'll go through and look at that here in just a few minutes. Inside the box we have the camera smoke detector and a mounting bracket that goes on the ceiling. It has a swivel, so you can point the camera whichever way you want it to point. Very, very nice. I'll put that uh, mounting bracket back on there. What else is in the box? We have a USB, oh, so it's a micro USB to USB-A reader. Nice little plastic guitar pick, although it's not a guitar pick, I know, but it is, uh, it looks like one. It's for popping probably the back off. A USB type C cable to USB type A. And then of course we have uh, screws to mount it to the ceiling. It's pretty neat. It's very well made actually. Uh, the plastic seems legit. Everything seems really nice. It is a hidden cam smoke detector. So for all intents and purposes, people would think that it was just a regular smoke detector on the wall, but it is not, or on the ceiling, uh, but it is a hidden camera. And I believe my camera lies right in here, which is really neat. It's four megapixel, full HD camera. So your quality should be really good. It's H.265 encoding. So just remember that. Uh, so, you know, if you want to edit the video or uh, download the video in any format, Adobe Premiere, any of your editing software should work just fine. And of course, it's got this nice little USB drive that you can put the micro SD card in. It also comes with a guarantee. CamDuck will guarantee it for, I believe, somewhere right around 60 days for replacement policy on that. You definitely need to read up a little bit more in the a uh, user's manual would probably say that. You can actually mount it to the ceiling or you can mount it to the wall, depending on the angle you're actually going for. And there's adjustments in here to help with the angle. So if you've got it mounted on the ceiling, you need to adjust it. Mount it on the wall and you need to adjust it. You can do that. The back comes off. That's your mounting bracket. And then in here you have a battery. It's a non-replacement battery. So leave that in there. That can charge it. You have a way to power it if you want to wire it directly into your house or you have under you can use this guitar pick that comes with it I know it's not a guitar pick but it's fun to call it that that little got door pops off there and you can use a USB type C and that is one of the methods here that it uses to uh, view the video. So there's a total of three methods to use to, to view the video. One, micro SD card. Two, you can, if you're close enough to it, you can use local Wi-Fi on your phone and it'll pick up here. Or you can use remote Wi-Fi uh, through your router if you're at the neighbor's house or at the store or wherever you might be and you want to want to check the camera and make sure everything's going okay. Um, I will definitely try one of these methods out and we'll see what kind of video quality it has. Okay, so before I physically would mount this to the wall, what I would do is just use command strips. Uh, if you have any laying around the house, I had some, and just see if that's where you want it. You know, it might not be, it might be, uh, so it's mounted. You should be able to see everything. And in my camera, I can actually go to PTZ, which is neat, and I could turn the camera for, for better viewing angles. And even zoom. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. It really is neat. I love the fact that I can check out the entire area of where I want to go. Uh, I can also shoot in four megapixel, the higher quality, or 1080. Um, you might be able to see a difference, you might not, but I can tell a difference. 
It's very, very sharp. I'm actually recording right now to my phone to see what kind of quality it's going to have. And then uh, once you hit the record button, boom, it will start recording, uh, which I was recording when I mounted it. And then it goes over into your albums, and you can see it in there. Another section, uh, you can actually take photos, and it will also go into the album and the pictures. It's pretty neat, uh, pretty neat little system. Um, anyway, that's, that's about it. And that's all I'm really going to use it for is just to check to make sure my kids aren't stealing food out of my refrigerator. But I really do like this little camera. It's pretty nice. So if you're looking for a spy cam that you want it to be not noticeable, uh, just throw it up in your house anywhere you can and it looks like a smoke detector, this is the perfect option you can have. And it's a it's from a company called CamDuck. I have a few items from them now, uh, and so I really like them. I highly suggest you give it a try.